there is such an idea of that it's like the the there's the victim, there's the person, and then the demon, and they're battling each other inside the body. We are here to talk about, hey, it's right there, Pray for the Devil. Uh, fantastic exorcism horror thrill that you guys are in, but you already know that. Um, nice to hear. Uh, Thank you. Jacqueline, I want to ask, you know, I mean, gosh, intense film. You play Sister Anne, uh, uh, the first nun who is sanctioned to learn about exorcism by the Catholic Church. Uh, it seems like a role like this would be very emotionally taxing. And I'm curious what the experience was like for you kind of going through that. It was. It felt like I ran 10 marathons, but with like my heart. <laughs> um, yeah, it was exhausting, but worth it. Like, I think I'm just so fascinated by the human psyche that it's like, I always say like as an actor, it's like in my own life, I can live within a certain realm. As an actor, you get to push those boundaries and live in all of these other facets and feel things that you wouldn't necessarily feel or turn up volumes on things. And I'm just, it's what drives me to do what I do. And um, this film was just such an un incredible opportunity to, you know, dive into all of that. Yeah. Christian, did uh, you play Father Dante, uh, a priest who is also learning about exorcism? Uh, um, did you do any? Did you do any kind of research beforehand? Did Did Daniel provide you with some like information that he was like, "Hey, check this out"? How did that How did that go? Daniel is uh, a great director, and he he was always very receptive to what we had to say and thoughts we had, but also he was very open with the resources he would give us, right? So there were articles and things that he would send our way and reference points that he would touch that we would go back and look at. Um, I grew up uh, going to Catholic school my whole life and, and Jesuit yeah. high school for a couple of years. So the world is familiar to me. Mm -hmm. uh, as an adult, um, I, I haven't uh, uh, made a foray into that, uh, uh, excuse me, I haven't swerved into that foray yet. Uh, but I think that, uh, I think, all of the prep you do at home kind of goes away when you show up on set. You know, you, you do all the research, you read about what you can read about, you watch what you can watch, and then you show up and you let the other actors happen to you. Luckily, we had a great cast uh, to sort of play ball back and forth with uh, in a film like this. See, I, I'm a big fan of exorcism horror, and, and I'm a big fan of Daniel's film, The Last Exorcism. Yeah, yes. so um, good. I, I did not grow up Catholic, but I did grow up in a system of faith that does believe in demonic possession and all that kind Interesting. of stuff. Interesting. Exorcism, yeah. So it's uh, it's something that I do find very, very fascinating. Felt like this movie does an amazing job of kind of capturing a lot of the dynamics um, that you see in some of those things. This is a, here's a question for you, uh, Jacqueline. This is something that I, that I've pondered quite often. Uh, exorcism horror is often also body horror. But body horror is is does not necessarily have to be exorcism horror. Does that sound like a fair assessment to you? When you say body horror, what do you mean? So like the the idea that uh, uh, something terrible is happening to someone's body. Okay. Uh, yeah. The, the recent can the the newer Candyman film is often. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I I understand now. Okay. Kind of like does that make sense? Yep. Does it does it feel like there's a lot of that? Did you have to deal with a lot of that in this movie? Like you you know there are some scenes where. It's so fun because it there's such an idea of that it's like the the there's the victim, there's the person, and then the demon, and they're battling each other inside the body. So when at can I say at the end of the movie, am I going to give anything away? I don't know. And that's really up to you. I try okay. to. Avoid when, okay. Some, okay. That's just me. During <laughs> demonic possessions, <laughs> um, with playing with the choreography of it and feeling like something's battling you, like pulling your body in one direction and the like other person working in a different way um, was really like, it, it was just fun. It was a fun thing to work with that idea as an actor, you know, like you're constantly working with your imagination. I just think that that idea gave us so much to work with in general. I think body horror, like, it's so funny because we're just like, you know, like you can be a 125 pound being. That's all you yeah. are at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. But it's like everything that you are. But like, it's like you could like, you can literally, this is hor horrific, but you can like bite your finger off and it's the same as biting off a carrot. Did you know that? Like your body is so, you could die at an instant. It's like, it's crazy to me that I think just body horror in general is just so terrifying. It is. It, it, and and the, and the way that the exorcism horror sort of a lot of times incorporates a lot of that it's 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 
it's really fascinating. I, yeah. I, I will say I've seen some things in real life that I could not begin to explain to you. Oh. And and it's it's very interesting how a lot of times exorcism horror really, really does accurately capture some of the very bizarre and unexplainable things the human body is capable of. Capable of, um, it's scary. <laughs> it is. You see the contortionist and you're like, what yes. are you doing with your yes. body? <gasps> Crazy. Um, um, before our time is up, I would like to ask you guys about working with the incredible Ben Cross. I know that this was the the final performance he gave before um, his his unfortunate death, and he just does. He's just fantastic all the time. And so I would love to to hear from you guys. Maybe we we'll start with Christian, if I could. I think we're lucky to work with a, a consummate professional, someone who's not arguably he's a legend, uh, yeah. certainly a legend in England, and and he brought a gravitas to the film that was um, special. And uh, to have worked with him right before he passed, I consider it a privilege. And, and we had a couple of scenes together, and I learned. And I think that's the, the real measure of an actor. They make everyone around them better. And uh, I learned from watching him. So I, I was grateful for the experience. He's one of the greats. There's like, um, he's one of the best performances of all time. Um, what was so inspiring to me was that he died 10 days after we shot. So when he came in, his his wardrobe didn't fit him anymore because he had lost so much weight. Mm. I had no idea he was sick. Wow. Like I knew I like I he looked older. Do you know what I mean? But the way that he held himself, the his commitment to acting until the end of his life is something that I will admire. And like it was truly one of the greatest privileges I've had in my life to see someone that committed to his craft. Wow. Well, that is yeah. powerful and profound. Thank you guys for sharing. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. Yeah, of course. Pray for the devil. It's in theaters October 27th. Uh, thank you guys.